Hey y'all, so one of the biggest things that I'm seeing this summer is a lot of people, they don't necessarily want to go in the sun or in the tanning bed because they don't want dry damaged skin. What they want to do instead is still get that nice sun-kissed glow, but without looking super orangey. Well, what do you do? One of my favorite solutions for this is the Body Shop's Drops of Glow from the Honey Bronze Collection. So the Body Shop has released a whole different line of products to help us uh, during the summer months or the warmer months or all year round if you live in a sunny uh, place, get the nice healthy glow without looking unnatural or without compromising the integrity of your skin. So what I like about this is these products, there's two really good ones. There is the Honey Bronze Face Gel and what this product does is this product will give you a nice uh, gentle glow. It's super hydrating to the skin. It does not sting or burn and it comes off uh, easily um, with just regular cleansing. The next uh, product I'm going to be demonstrating a use with is the Body Shop's uh, Drops of Sun. I'm sorry, I said drops of glow. That's a whole different product. The Body Shop's uh, Drops of Sun, and this product, if you see right here, comes in this nice little bottle, and it has like a darker uh, color. What this product does is you can mix it with any uh, moisturizer, and what it does is it gives you a gentle glow without you having to you know, put on makeup or do any kind of uh, extra step. And it's really good because you can put it on, put a little bit of sunscreen over if you need to, walk out that door, and you just look sun-kissed and nice and doesn't make you look too artificial or too unnatural. So I'm gonna show everyone how to use this. It's very simple. You get a moisturizer that you like. Now, if you're gonna stick with the Body Shop, my favorite one to mix this with is the, um, it's the uh, anti-aging one. It's a green bottle. It's the uh, oil, actually Oils of Life. Oils of Life is really, really good. That one works amazing with that. And uh, Drops of, is it Drops of Youth? No, I don't think, I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna look this up and I'll, all right, y'all, so I have got to stop second guessing myself. I was correct, it is Drops of Youth. They have a moisturizer and that mixes really well with this. It's great. Uh, to, it's a great line to use if you're between the ages of, you know, 19 to, you know, your early 30s is when you want to use uh, Drops of Youth and then you eventually go to Oils of Life. So what I'm gonna do is I have a different product I'm gonna uh, use this with. My skin has a lot of ridges and fine lines and I have a little bit of acne scarring, so I'm gonna use Dr. Yart's Priming Moisturizer and I'm gonna mix it with about three drops of drops of sun and I'll show y'all how to do this. When you do this, you want to do this on uh, the side of your hand. You don't wanna do it on your palm. If you have a little mixing jar, you can probably even do that. You don't, also don't ever wanna take these drops because I've done this before and I looked like an Oompa Loompa. You don't ever want to take this, put this directly on your skin because it will cause staining and splotching and that will not look nice. So you want to put a decent sized amount of moisturizer. I do about a dime sized amount. Just a little bit more. And what I like to do is I flatten this a little bit. I shook this up and I'm going to add three drops. You can add more if you need. I always say start with one or two and then see how your skin reacts. Do a little bit more. I'll do four actually. And as you can see right here, it kind of looks um, like muddy. It's like this weird gelatinous texture. There we go. And I'm just going to mix this. You kind of feel like a painter when you're doing this and any staining that you might get from the product will come off really easy with soap and water. So you want to just mix this up, make sure this is all blended. And I'm going to show you my face. I'm going to just quickly apply this. Again, like you would any other moisturizer, if you can see up here where I have um, you know, fine lines, wrinkles.
and if you can see this gives you a nice bit of a slightly bronzed glow you might get a slight red hint this product I would say works if you are f now if you're very fair skinned I would say maybe don't use this product because you might get not enough uh, coverage and then if you feel that you've tried it and you don't get the deeper glow that you'd like try a little bit of the honey bronze um, face gel because what this does is this adds a little bit more of a needed um, kick to your uh, skincare regimen if your type of bronzer is um, not enough so I might have to add a little bit more but just to give everyone an idea, this is what your face will look like after. See how up top where I would have, you know, the fine lines and wrinkles? Unless you really look closely, they're not as noticeable. The product too, sometimes when you're using the Dr. Yart, it might make it a little off color, but give it a few seconds and it kind of sets in. But that is how you would definitely use a product. And it gives you, a, like right over here, you can see it's a slight reddish tone, but it's not orangey. And that's why I like it. It looks like you kind of were out in the sun, but doesn't look like you got burned. It gives you a nice gentle glow. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm also gonna review, cause y'all are getting a treat, you're getting the duo of the uh, drops of sun and the uh, honey bronze uh, face gel. The face gel was made as a way to complement this and it was great because you could do your neck, your face, and it just add a little bit of uh, natural warmth to it. It smells amazing by the way. Both this product and that one just smell wonderful. It has like a honey smell to it. Their key ingredient I think is either like royal jelly or some kind of honey. They, they do something uh, with it. I want to research that a little bit more to see how true it is. Um, but this is made in Thailand, which I thought was really interesting. And it tells you in here, uh, put a little bit in your hands and it says, you know, don't put it in your eye area. You can put it on your neck. So this product is kind of, it looks very similar to the, um, the drops of glow. If you can see, it's a nice gel like consistency. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and apply this. And you really want to massage this product in because the more you massage, the better the result and the more natural it will look. And that is how that will look. See how natural that looks? It's a slight warm tone. I know the lighting here is a little bit bad, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna try to fix this bulb up here because this light has been going on the fritz, but I'll be right back and I'll show you all the finished result of how this looks. I'm not gonna put anything else. I'm just gonna fix that lighting so the lighting is a little bit more natural and more focused so you can see how this product will make your face look. All right, so that should be much better. Um, my face looks super natural, super warm. The lighting finally shows it. It's not an orangey tinge at all. It's actually a very light tan. So whatever dye they use in here, I think it is either a brown or a cool brown, like a violety base. It looks so nice, so natural. You can't even tell that I did any, any kind of bronzer on. But look at how nice that looks. Even up top where I usually have a lot of my problem areas, look a lot better. 
The priming moisturizer does a good job at filling those in, and the bronzer, if you can see, makes it so you hardly even notice it. And it doesn't make you look red, it doesn't make you look pink or anything. I always tell people sometimes when you uh, do you know, fresh cleansing and you go to apply this, you might see a slight red tinge. That is because you have blood flow going through if you've you know, massaged your face. Give it a minute or two for that to calm down and then you'll finally see the end result. So it looks super natural, super nice, great for photographs, great if you're naturally olive skinned. It evens out everything and you can go about your day. It completes any kind of you know, wardrobe that you put together. Great for photo shoots, for videos, for blogs. And um, that's that. I definitely would rate the Honey Bronze uh, Drops of Sun a 5 out of 5, and I definitely would rate the Honey Bronze Face Gel a 5 out of 5. Price-wise, they are not too expensive at all. I totally forgot how much I paid for this, but I think that I had a coupon, and I got both of these for under $20. It was uh, not expensive, and you definitely get your year's worth out of it. If you live in an area like mine where you only have you know warm months for a quarter of the year, if that, you're gonna have enough for next year. And you can even use a little bit of this for the fall and the winter because typically I get very tan. I actually get darker than this in the summer. So what I'll do is I'll save a little bit for the winter and fall and I just use less of it in the moisturizer. So if I'm going everywhere, I don't look washed out. I honestly feel that in the, the sp uh, winter and the fall, as I start to lose my pigment and my tan, I tend to look very washed out. And I tend to look, uh, I don't wanna say sick, but it's not like my you know glowing self. And this gives you a nice gl uh, glow, hence the term drops of sun. It feels like you were in the sun. This is like a little bit of sunshine in a bottle, and this is a little bit of sunshine in a tube. And I love the feel how it adds like honey in there. And as a former beekeeper, I think it's great when products put honey in there because honey is so good for the skin. If you are vegan, this is probably not the product for you. However, if you're vegetarian, you can use this. This is cruelty-free to my knowledge. Uh, but I definitely like the product. I like what it does to your skin. I like how it's very natural without looking artificial, and it's very easy to use. It doesn't leave your hands super stained. Of course, the light blew out again. It doesn't leave your hands super stained. You can actually uh, take whatever product that you have left and... Um, I mean, whatever's left on your hand, just add a little bit of hand soap and it comes right off. Even a small amount of hand sanitizer, dab it, takes it right off. Doesn't leave any nasty stains like other bronzers can. Doesn't leave your sink and, to uh, sink and towels all stained up. This won't do that. This is definitely a must-have product if you uh, enjoy getting in tan without having to go to a tanning bed or going outside to lay in the sun. Even though I do that once in a while, I know you're not supposed to, but I always believe, hey, I'm still going to live my life. I'm going to take as good care of my skin as possible, but I got to enjoy life. So the Drops of Sun from Honey Bronze and the Face Gel from Honey Bronze, two very good products. Please let me know if any of y'all have ever tried these from the body shop. So I will see y'all in another video. I'm gonna do something else, maybe from the body shop, maybe from another brand. You will just have to find out.